Hey guys, what's up? This is Sam and in today's video we are talking about some of the new changes found in Cydia version 1.1.10. This is a much needed update and I'm very excited to be showing you guys pretty much everything that is new. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. The first change we'll notice and it was a much needed change, fix, enhancement, whatever you want to call it, is that there is finally a new Cydia app icon that looks right on iOS 7. It's got a very nice looking gradient. I'm not the biggest fan of the darkish brown, but it does look a whole lot better than the inadequate, I guess is what I'm trying to say, the inadequate Cydia iOS 6 icon just always looked out of place unless you were using some sort, some sort of a winterboard theme. Finally, this is fixed. You get a nice looking new icon. And in my opinion, this was a much needed change. Now taking a look at some of the new features inside the updated Cydia application, the sources little section under the manage tab actually has its own dedicated tab now. It completely replaced the sections section on the tab bar, but if you were a fan of the sections tab, you can simply navigate to that by tapping on all sources under the sources tab, and there you go. You get that exact same view just like you had before. And as far as the actual new sources tab goes, there aren't really any new features, although when you do tap on a source, you get an individual section view dedicated to that particular source, which is definitely a lot easier if you are searching for a very specific kind of tweak, like maybe an add-on for Control Center. Under the Big Boss, you could just tap Big Boss, scroll down to Add-ons Control Center, and there you go, you see all of the dedicated place or dedicated tweaks for Control Center. So I definitely think it's a lot easier to view specific packages, but overall there's really not a whole whole lot new having to do with sources. But the new sources tab actually isn't the only thing new in this version of Cydia. There is also now a new installed tab that took the place of the manage tab where you can manage your storage, installed section, and your sources. Now everything is basically split up and on the install tab you have the user section at the top, one of three areas. You can just scroll throughout here and delete or remove any tweets that you tweaks that you would not want to use anymore, or just look at the details of some that you've already installed. Then there is the expert section, which I would recommend staying out of unless you know what you're doing, because there is some pretty important stuff that has to do with how City runs, so I would not recommend staying in there a whole lot if you are just someone like me, the average City user. And then finally, there is a recent section, which I really enjoy. This allows you to see tweaks that you've either installed or updated very recently. I like this section just because it lets you know what might be causing a problem. Maybe you installed a tweak that's causing you to go on a respring loop. Well, just go to recent, see the last thing that you installed, and you can go ahead and remove it just like that. So guys, those are most of the new features found in Cydia version 1.1.10. Actually, at the time of recording this, Cydia version 1.1.11 came out with some bug fixes and improvements, so make sure you have updated to that in case you haven't already. But thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Subscribe for more Cydia content, and I'll see you guys in my next video.